Hey, how's it going, guys? Kevin Shi from K Vision Studio. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how we make our passport photos look so good. Today, I'm going to share with you three key factors that we focus on to ensure our customers' passport photos turns out amazing. First and foremost, you need a huge, huge light source. The size of your light source directly affects the shadows in your photos. The larger the light source, the softer the shadows will be. Conversely, a smaller light source creates harsher shadows. Let me show you an example using different sizes of diffusers. So this is the result under our largest diffuser. This is the result without using any diffuser. You can see there is an obvious hot shadow under the nose and the chin, which will be refused by the passport office. This is the most common indoor lighting that your home or post office use. Look at the big difference between these two light effects. It's significant, right? So remember, if you want your passport photo to look fantastic, go for that big light source. The bigger, the better. Oh, here is a little trick. Add a reflector under your chin, and you will see yourself glowing. Now, let's talk about something most other places that take passport photos don't even bother with. Details. We believe that little things matter. When you come to us, we will not only help you to tidy up your hair and clothes, but we will also pay special attention to those pesky stray hairs, your collar, and the symmetry of your shoulders. During the shot, we will guide you on adjusting your sitting posture, head angle, smile scale, and even your eye expression. Trust me, these details make a huge difference between a bad-looking passport photo and a perfect one. All right, let's tackle the topic of smiles. Most passport requirements state neutral expression, which often result in unhappy face like this. But here's the thing: neutral doesn't mean unhappy. You can still have a pleasant expression without showing your teeth or smiling too much. No. While you're smiling, don't engage your cheek muscle. No. 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 Just slowly lift the corner of your mouth. That's it. That's right. And open up your eyes. When taking passport photos, we usually capture multiple images with different smile scale after getting some safe shots. Then we choose the best one and resize it to meet the official requirements. Now, keep in mind that other factors like makeup, sitting posture, and eye expression can also influence the final look of your passport photo. However, by optimizing the size of the light source, paying attention to detail during the shot, and achieving that slight pleasant smile, these three factors are what we use to ensure our customers get the best results for their 10-year passport. So next time when you need to make a passport photo, it doesn't matter whether you come to us or you go to the cheaper ones. Just remember, adjust your hair and sit properly, and then lift up the corner of your mouth. All right, that's it for today, folks. I'm Kevin Shi from K Vision Studio. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, next time when you need a passport photo. You know where to find us. See you next time.